I'll be a hater. I play Magic the Gathering twice a week. See, that sounds like a damn nightmare. You're inside sitting on a folding chair in the stinkiest room of all time. Some dude is just executing like a, a custom made loop on you over and over. And then I get two loyalty tokens. And then I uh, use my two loyalty tokens to tap at instant speed on the artifact of Yon Titan. And then that allows me to get a draw. Every time I draw, I get another loyalty token on my Yon Titan Plains land card, which will let, and then I get it twice a week. At least golf, you're outside, you're in the sun. You're getting a little bit of physical exercise, maybe. Magic the Gathering, like my, my experience with Magic the Gathering is that playing it basically feels like losing a debate in a language that you don't speak. Sometimes you're like, I'm winning. But then most of the time, some dude who's been playing Magic since 1998 just like goes on. On turn one, he drops like a, he, he gets three lands out and then he drops like a four or five on you. And you're like, okay, I guess the part where I had fun is now over. Also, uh, one in three times that you play the game, you just don't draw enough land to actually play. Or alternatively, uh, you draw too much land and no actual cards. Minus two, just play drafts. Don't make me tell the story about how during Battle for Zendikar, I accidentally took the full art land out of the pack during the draft, because I, I know you take the land out of the pack, but then I didn't realize in Battle for Zendikar, you don't take the full art land out of the pack, because each one at the time could have been worth as much as a dollar. And then we got to the end of pack one, and everybody started to go fucking Columbo. Wait a minute, I didn't get a card. What happened? Well, on turn six, I got past this, and I noticed there were only eight cards, but I just figured I wouldn't say anything, and I would just pass it along. Then people started getting, well, like, well, I I took a common i would have taken the full art if the full art was in there it's a dollar you guys you guys have lost your damn mind and then i never went back because the environment was so inhospitable i'm not making fun of magic the gathering players this is a real story that really happened to me <laughs> it's not like normally when i'm making fun of somebody where i you know make them up in my head and make them completely irredeemable and then go in this is a story that really happened and that like I, I could tell half the people in my draft pod were like this guy definitely malevolently maliciously pulled the full art so that he could resell it on ebay for a dollar what the hell is a full art okay so that you know how most magic the gathering cards have like a little square piece of art on them and then flavor text beneath it in Battle for Zendikar and Rise of the Eldrazi, instead of that, they had art that was the full portrait aspect ratio of the card. So people were like, holy cow, this art, these full arts are going to be worth more than regular lands, which are mostly considered bulk, you know? Like, you could just take them for free when you go to any card store. And, but that led to people, that and the release of Expeditions led to people purchasing so many packs of Battle for Zendikar that the market for full art lands actually cratered and they're not worth a dollar, they're worth like 10 cents each. But because uh, Magic the Gathering is so fucking expensive, everybody that plays it for more than six months becomes exclusively like Magic Finance pilled. And when they draft for like 15 bucks, you can't spend 15 bucks on just like an enjoyable six hour night out where you get to play two, two rounds of Magic and then stand around for an hour and a half waiting for two people to go to turns. Um, instead, it has to be like, well, for $15, you get, uh, three, well, $18, technically, because you do have to pay a little bit to the card shop themselves, which is ridiculous, because what, $3 for rent? What is this, uh, 1906? Um, you, you get three packs, which is roughly the equivalent of approximately $12, but then also, if you go 3-1 or better, you could win a prize, including a box topper, or even up to five packs themselves. So as long as I tick, 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 uh, read, uh, I've got to listen to, uh, 25 pre-release episodes of limited resources, tick, 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 I gotta get my draft order memorized in my head, tick, 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 as long as I go two and two or better, 30% of the time, 40% of the time I go 3-1, 10% of the time I go 4-0, then I'm making da, 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 4 cents an hour playing Magic the Gathering. It's just like so exhausting. You see, you end up people thinking I committed like the fucking Thomas Crown affair 
accidentally pulling the full art la land out of the draft pack because you normally pull the land out of the draft pack but because the, the lands are full art now we got to change the rules because everybody's got to do maximum ev otherwise they'd have to give up their damn house because it's the most expensive hobby on earth he's off on a goddamn rant i'm just sorry to say like you know magic is like an incredible game it's it's so well designed when you get a good game of Magic, it's like, I understand why people play it and nothing else for like two decades. But then like, it's not the whole community at all, but like a high enough percentage of the community is like extremely irritating that I never want to play it again. And also like, I'm, it, you got to choose your hobbies in life. I'm not being judgmental, I swear. But um, like, at some point, you know, we were going to Friday Night Magic like, Two or three times a month you gotta realize like this shit starts at six finishes at like 11. i always get my ass kicked i gotta fight rush hour traffic to get there just to be condescended to by like some dude who's been playing for 35 years why'd you drop your eldrazi commander on turn four when instead you could have dropped abbot of the first flame and then you would have had initiative i'm like dude, bro i'm literally just here because like my wife is running an insane net deck and goes three to one every week can you just like like can we have a conversation like normal human beings like this is not how life is meant to be i don't want to do a post-mortem i mean it's not necessarily like you know rude but I don't want to do a post-mortem like every time I lose in Magic the Gathering because I don't want to give you the illusion that I'm ever going to get good at this game. Like, I'm just, I'm literally here for my spouse and that's it. Do you watch, like, any sports? <laughs> do, you, do you play any video games? Oh, Magic the Gathering Online. Before Arena came out, you spent $100 a week in Magic the Gathering Online drafts. It's like playing a damn Excel spreadsheet. Okay. Well, I guess we don't really have that much common ground to talk about. That's fine. Magic Online looks like PowerPoint in 1999. I'm not going to say I never played Magic Online because I was like, I was into Magic enough to be like, yeah, I'll deal with this fucking Microsoft Access application to play a game like this. But, uh, I mean, it is funny how, how old it looks. And this is in like 2016. Also, and this is not necessarily even a Magic thing. But when I went to, I went to two GPs. I went to GP Vancouver and then we drove down for GP Portland. Not to play in the main event, just to, you know, have a weekend playing some magic. And at both of them, I felt like there were like 175 backpack thefts. Like every five minutes on the announcements. It's like, please, if anybody's seen a black backpack with an aws amazon web services tag on it it seems like backpacks are getting stolen like crazy of these things and i also feel like and maybe again this is like my own personal bias i don't feel like they're um stealing the backpack to like you know hawk the goods i feel like they're stealing ooh, i feel like they're selling the backpack or they're, they're stealing the backpack to get the cards I feel like they're stealing the backpack in order to be like, holy shit, there's a Chandra's Flame in here. There's a Mox Opal. This is going to be so good in my Legacy deck. Holy shit, three full art lands. I knew this dude committed a heist. It's like opening packs, but all the cards are good. You know, I never thought about it that way. I mean, you still should not steal. It makes you like a piece of shit. But I guess I understand the appeal of getting stuff for free. <laughs> that's, a, that's a universally positive experience most of the time. I guess what I'm trying to say is when people commit theft, one person's sad and one person's happy. Seems fair to me. I'm joking. I'm joking. What's the rarest card you own? We do have a couple of expeditions. I know we have one of the expeditions that is not um particularly good like a i don't know i don't it's one of the ones you wouldn't even remember i think we do have an expedition polluted delta which is uh, at least at the time was i mean it was a standard playable but also in like an archetype people actually use i don't know if fetch lands are or, yeah fetch lands are presently in standard but i know they're modern playable at least that's so fetch Dude, you know what's interesting to think of? Actually, maybe I'm wrong about this. 
But I was going to say, if you watch Mean Girls in 2004, and I told you that Amanda Seyfried would be the best actor out of all of the Mean Girls, you probably would have told me that I was crazy. But then I'm realizing, no, you'd probably be like, actually, it's Rachel McAdams. But Amanda Seyfried is second, I think. Like, Lacey Chabert hasn't done much that I've seen in a while. Um, Lindsay Lohan, I don't even know what she's doing. She's hosting, like, reality shows in Qatar or something. And uh, then Rachel McAdams, you know, she's doing stuff. She's been in a lot of movies. She's, she's in Doctor Strange in the, at, at, the mo at, at the Mouth of Madness. 